Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we spoke with Notkin and Capella for the first time. They're the daughter of... of Vlad. I was about to say the daughter of The Lump, because that's... <laughs> I was looking at the name of this place, The Lump. That's a pretty rude way to refer to somebody. Unhappy daughter of Vlad. Unhappy to be their daughter, that is. Thankfully, they're different than Vlad. Oh yeah, they're actually separate places on the map. Like, it looks like one thing, but they highlight differently. Little corners, Capella's wing. Anyway, um, it's about 11 a.m. on day two, so we got plenty of time for now, but we also have plenty to do. Three major things. We need to go to Governor Sabarov just to talk with him. We haven't spoken with him at all yet. This day is all about talking to the children, all the people on Father's List. So we also need to see if we can talk to Khan and the Polyhedron. And we should so go see Grace, which, according to the Changeling, is talking with our father at the cemetery, and it's killing her, is what the Changeling said. So I want to go here first, because this seems really time-dependent and the other things don't. It's not really faster to take a boat there, because the closest boat is right here. So I'm just going to sprint down across the warehouses and then take the train track to the cemetery. Let's try to get there as fast as possible. Oh, but uh, before that, I wanted to go over a couple things. I was just looking at patch number three that they just released, and I loved the change notes. Just Here's just the one I particularly liked. Burned people now produce prettier smoke. That's a good change log. <laughs> Burned people now produce prettier smoke. I've also been compiling a bunch of notes for Pathologic, and I wanted to go over these. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, actually. Uh, people in the comments have been telling me about all the references in item descriptions and things like that. The first is that the fingernail coin is maybe a reference to Sharon, or Charon, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, the ferryman of souls on the river Styx. According to Wikipedia, Sharon carries the newly deceased in their boat? If so, then am I also the newly deceased? Am I dead already taking those boats? Um, there's a couple more. Yeah, there's a couple references that you see talked about in the item descriptions for I think it's the safety pin and this one is definitely the broken scissors. I don't have those items right now, so I'll come back to those later. Um, wanted to go over this one, though. It was a while ago. It wasn't an item. We were talking to somebody, I think, around the factory area, around the meat day person. And they're talking about somebody named Bertrand and how they must have been really unlucky to get such a name, Bertrand. I didn't get that at all. Like, what's unlucky about the name Bertrand, as Maha Samatman told me? Uh, apparently, Bertrand is Bartholomew... And Apostle Bartholomew um, is known for being killed by getting skinned alive. So named after a very unfortunate person, apparently. Alright, let's sprint to Grace. No time to waste. This way, and then left. Drink some water. Jumpy little mice. Just jumped into the water. I think I looted all these because this is the direction I came from. split up the tracks up here.
So if meat is in these sacks to be transported to the trains and the trains aren't running, is that meat just going to be rotting up there? Rotting meat? In bags? Is Grace in here? Hey, this looks familiar. I think this is the room where we saw those three bodies that we apologized to in that dream vision thing. It is. Grace? Yes? Man, I still- I always get so impressed with how these characters look. They look so cool and good and... Emotive. Why did you come? You aren't allowed to be here now. <clears throat> Is it true you spoke to my father today? No, I didn't. Grace. That's what they call you, right? Look at me. Alright, fine. It's true. The dead need to be spoken with. Otherwise, they're in too much pain. Do they answer? Sometimes, when they do, I feel pain too. I'm just staring at Grace's face. It's so good looking. I didn't realize, like, Grace was a character that was in the original Bathologic. I didn't realize they were so young. They look very young. A girl told me it kills you slowly. Is that true? Clara, right? But she praised me. Said I'm doing the right thing by consoling the dead. Now she's a very kind girl. Though there are those who hate her for some reason. Can you help me talk to my father? I don't know. I'd need to ask him. I've never done that before. What did he tell you today? He said that it hurts, that he never expected it, that it was strange, as if a friend had killed him. He's very sad he didn't get to see you. But he also said nothing would have changed even if you'd gotten here on time. I think Artemy does feel guilty for not getting here on time, for being just a tiny bit too late to do anything to stop our father's death. So I'm going to say something would have changed. He'd still be alive. I need rest. Can you come back later, please? I don't feel so well right now. Oh, I can... So I can push Grace to do it. I wonder if that would actually kill them. I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Goodbye. Father is dead. I won't waste a girl's life to touch his ghost. Yes, I will wait. Is it still marked on the map? It's not. Hmm. So when should I come back? I guess just sometime in the evening. I have a lot to do in the evening, though. There's, I think there's like two places I need to go in the evening. Oh, speaking of which, we don't have a mark on the map for the station. Um, let me make a mark for this. Remember that the kids hang out at the station in the evening. So I need to go there in the evening just to see if I can see if I can find them and see what they're up to. And there was another place I was supposed to go after dark, but I don't remember where it was. Shit. I should have wrote it down. Hmm. Hopefully I'll remember it. Also, there's a big hole right there. There goes my only match, I think. Weird. Hmm. 
<sighs> what are you doing here, kid? And they lived happily oh, ever murky. after. And horribly ever before. <laughs> uh, Murky's one of the kids on the list. I haven't talked to them before, I think. <coughs> Why did you come here? I don't need you. Nobody here needs you. We're not friends with her anymore, anyway. Who? No longer friends with whom? Grace. Why? She's killing herself. Grace is. She doesn't care. So it seems like a pretty widely known thing by people who spend time around Grace. Yeah, figured that out already. She talks to the dead for real. Touches them with her head. But it kills the living. I'm telling her that's not how it's done. But she won't listen. And how is it done? Like there's a different way? There is another way. I can show you. Come on. Just walk with smaller steps. Alright, let's go. Your fingers are in every pot, and your feet always running around. But you aren't the big head yet. Here? Mm, here, I guess. Here. All right. Go ahead. Sh show me. Shh. Listen to Swevery grow. Yeah, I hear it. Swevery? We need Swevery. And twire. A blade of each kind. It's pretty. Well, I've already got some on me. Will these ones do the trick? Yes, these are the right blades. Magic enough. So what do we do now? Go ahead then. Talk to him. How? I, I thought you wanted to teach me. What am I supposed to teach? You just need to want it really hard. Close your eyes tight too. It'll happen. So it's all just daydreaming? I did not lie. I did not. I don't need you. Nuh-uh. At all. Well, this has gone south. <laughs> uh... Who cares if you need me? What is there about you to love? I don't want to. Nuh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> You're all covered in dirt. See you, grumpy. <laughs> I'm not imposing myself on you. Whoa. Holy shit. What did that just do? That just opened up a lot of things. <coughs> I don't believe Stock truly takes me for a patricide. He can't be that stupid. Stock being Ruben Stock, of course. Maybe I should go back to their place, see if they're there now. That's Governor Sabarov. The poor orphan took the rustling of herbs for the voices of the dead. I don't have it in me to even get mad, but I do have a pocket full of herbs now. I've collected all the herbs. To talk to the dead at Murky's way, one must first collect a bunch of herbs, three blades of twire, blood, black, and brown, and one blade of swivery. Talking to the dead is killing grace. Murky knows another way to meet with a dead man, a less cruel one. I think I read that backwards. Right, so like it started from this talking is killing grace to do a murky's way you do this. I've collected all the herbs and then just mistaking the rustling of the voices of the herbs for the voices of the dead. But there's two other things that can come from this. Two unfilled little bubbles. Let's collect the herbs. They're quite loud. Some of them are really hard to spot. The more I have to hear them. Hey. 
Okay. Nobody ever did give me a pony after all. I'm sorry, Murky. Maybe one day. Okay, we're pretty close to the cemetery, not too far off. Yeah, looks like there's actually a mark on the map to go back to Reuben. And that's the only new thing added to the map. Let's... Let's run there. Drink some water. My hunger's halfway. I'm gonna eat the pemmican. Drink some more water. Off we go. I wonder what Isidore's grave looks like now. I think this is it. Looks like the others, buried and with a bell. Ooh. I hear an herb. So they do just grow wild. You don't have to feed the earth with blood. I have a lot of herb. Is that something special? Ashen Swish. Yeah, that looked different. A rare prickly herb growing wherever blood has been spilled. Herbs are used to make tinctures. Growing where blood has been spilled. Does that mean people have been killed here? Or just, in a more general sense, dead people are buried here. So, you know, they have blood in them, of course. Ashen Swish has an acerbic smell and prickly texture. I wonder what it can be used to make. Man, I just want to explore the cemetery. You know, without time constraints, but no. We do have time constraints. We need to go. It's kind of a shame because it's such a beautiful and interesting world, but I don't feel like I can slow down too much. I can slow down a little, but you know. I could spend 10 minutes just checking out the cemetery. But I can't really afford that. It's already been like an hour and a half or so, I think. Was it 11 when we left? Right, to Rubens. Maybe that's why there were herbs back there. Maybe they're only in the cemetery. Because in a way, the earth has been fed there, just with the bodies of the dead, right? So if dumping a body, or not dumping, that's the wrong word. If burying a body in the cemetery is feeding the earth, and it rejected Isidore Barak's body, then the body was... I mean, what? It poison? It was... It was poison. Why else would it reject it? it? Means it doesn't want to eat it. Hmm. Can't. Can't get anything. Just one scrap name. Is all I have. Not enough to trade anything with, or anything for. I could use some toast. They won't take anything of mine, though. Alright, Rootman. Better not try to kill me. Also, please be home. Hello? Laura's here? Let me go save.
who will take on the responsibility for <clears throat> us? So, here we are again. I managed to calm down Stuck. He was wrong about you. Or, he was not entirely right, at least. Man, Lars helped me so much, haven't they? They weren't all that happy to see me, but they gave me a place to stay. They made it so people wouldn't kill me on sight. They made it so Stock won't kill me on sight. What got into him? You should let him speak for himself. I want to talk to you first. He can wait. Were you already offered your father's inheritance, Cub? Refuse it, I beg you. Do not follow his path. Uh... Shit. <laughs> <coughs> You're too late, I've already accepted what I must do. All in all, this is a quiet town. Not perfect, but there's a place for everyone. We're all connected through bonds of love, of friendship, of patience. Life flows through those bonds, the town's veins, and to cut them would cause harm. Your father, don't be mad, he dreamed of remaking it all. What exactly did he want to change? Everything. Our town felt wrong to him. He used to say that broken bones said badly will cripple a man, leaving him unable to function as others do. To Isidore, our town was a vile... Maloonian? What is a Maloonian? Oh, uh, a Maloonian is when a fractured bone doesn't heal properly. Our town was a vile Maloonian. Broken bone that didn't heal properly. That's a very interesting way to describe this town. That's why it needs to be changed. Like entirely redesigned, started anew. Because it's just... It's not built right. I'm not too fond of our town either after that welcome I received. He was a healer, sure. He knew life as no one else could. The kin revered him. But even that did us more harm than good in the end. What do you mean? Five years ago, there was an outbreak in the crude sprawl. It spread like wildfire. Dozens and dozens dead. People sent for Isidore. When he arrived, he... He ordered the whole quarter to be quarantined. No one could leave. Not even the healthy people trapped inside. That's terrible, but I'd make the same call in his shoes. The townsfolk obeyed his orders without question. They barricaded the whole neighborhood. In the end, there were almost no survivors. But the town lived on. I suppose that's true. But Cub, do not take his inheritance. Isidore's inheritance is his power, his authority, his duties. If you become another Isidore... We will never rest. We will never know peace. Peace only lasts until the next war. Lara just wants things to stay as they are for there to be peace for Isidore to not, I guess, break the bone again and have it heal properly. I don't know if that's even a thing you can do. If a bone heals improperly, can you purposely break it and make it better or is it just fucked I don't know I'm not a doctor but yes peace only lasts until the next war change is good five years ago soon after I left the town an outbreak of horrible disease happened here father destroyed it together with the carriers. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Hey, I like being called cub. Also, that's the second time I've heard somebody pronounce my name... Uh, Burach? I, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to keep saying Burach. Why did you come? 
Finally thought of some good excuses. You think I need to justify myself, do you? Yesterday I was told you had killed your father. Oh, I want to be real. I feel like being real sarcastic. Oh, of course, I finally achieved my childhood dream. That's not far from the truth, Brock. You knew all this time I'm not a murderer. You just meant it as, what, some metaphor? I called you a friend. You betrayed him. You left when he needed you most. He cried out for your help, but you didn't care. He was in peril and you were too busy elsewhere. He believed, truly believed, that your arrival would put an end to his troubles. And as always, he was right. I mean, I did come though. I am here, am I not? Take a breath, calm down, and explain. What peril? What do you know? No. He wouldn't tell me. Suggested we wait for you to arrive. But you were in no hurry, were you? His first letter was sent in May. There's a war, asshole. You think the trains come to this town often? Lara said I'm stupid, that I've lost my marbles. But I haven't. Your father always taught us to take stock of the situation, Barak. Overall, you're unneeded here. Don't bother with your father's inheritance. He has better heirs. Already thinking about the inheritance, huh? Some of us still grieve. His inheritance isn't things. It's different. And don't you dare accuse me. As for you, Gravel, don't interfere. Who's investigating the murder? No one. But all you care about is some inheritance, and you dare to accuse me. Tell me what you know. I know he was murdered. By someone he knew, too. Someone he trusted. Someone who could easily enter his house. This is what's important, idiot, not an inheritance. Shut up. Your father's inheritance is his work, Barak. That's his legacy. You are completely unworthy of it. His work is not yours. His knowledge is not yours. You abandoned both. He sent me away, jackass. He wanted me to study elsewhere. Go elsewhere, then. Learn whatever it is you'll learn there. Here, you have no place. And if the kin tells you to let go of his burden, listen. Perhaps even that scum can be right sometimes. You're out of your depth here. I'm not going anywhere. You should listen to Gravel. You're acting stupid. What are you looking at? Do you find this funny? Man, Stock Reuben, what a jackass. I don't remember them... I don't remember them being like that in the original Pathologic, but then again, we played a different character in the original Pathologic. Or, I mean, you could play this character, the Haruspex, but I played the Bachelor, and that's the only one I played. Which, of course, not being the one who let their father down, I guess Ruben probably just wouldn't have been mad at me, right? That's probably why. Ruben... <laughs> Thank you. Ruben is an idiot. Don't suppose there's new loot since I last looted this place? You got any more goodies for me? No, everything's still open. Okay. Where to now? 
I'm very close to the pub. I think I want to go there, see if I can buy more twirine. I think they said I could sell herbs there. Um, yeah, let's go. Mysterious package. I couldn't quite fit that in my inventory. Mm. That should do. Use? Oh, I'm not quite sure what was in it. It's stacked with some of my other stuff. I saw a piece of chalk. Don't know about anything else. This, hello, this is my first time meeting young Vlad, the one who's digging a well, apparently. They look very different from how I remember them in the original Pathologic. Your face seems vaguely familiar, but I'm positive we've never met before. What is your business? I'm the son of Isidore Barak. My name is Artemy. You have my condolences and my envy. Envy? Why? You were lucky to have a father like him. Indeed. Isidore respected you as a person. He indulged your desire to walk your own path and has never forced you to follow in his footsteps. Never tried to produce a carbon copy of himself. How can you know that? When he sent you away, the kin were livid. They condemned Isidore for tearing you away from your roots. But he always said that this was the only way for you to come to truly love your people. Through choice, not blind necessity. I see great love and wisdom in that. Well, I'm, I'm liking young, young Vlad so far. They seem quite nice and sensible. Unlike their father. I wonder if young Vlad and Capella are both unlike their father. You seem to be well informed. My position in the family forces me to keep tabs on everything that happens in our sad little town. You don't seem too happy with that. Right you are. A familial obligation is a sore spot for me. I'd pay good money to never have to think about it again. Hmm. To me, it's a very important principle. Right? I mean, that's why I'm walking in Isidore's footsteps. <coughs> With a father like yours, I don't see how you could say otherwise. Your father is the most influential person in the town. If we disregard the Canes and Sabarovs, one could say my father controls this town as closely as he controls his fat, fat purse. Sadly, he's content with the current state of affairs and sees no reason for things to change. His complacency will doom us all. Things are already in motion. But let us speak of something else. Alright. By the way, have you heard about Sabrov looking for volunteer patrolmen? Please tell me it's not to send a new raiding party after you. I'll sigh with relief knowing that the man merely wants to instill martial law in our godforsaken village. I like knowing what my competitors think. <laughs> Funny indeed. So many characters. There's a scroll bar for the characters. Logimski's heir spends his days in a pub called the Broken Heart. Barkeep. 
bountiful harvest. Oh, are you the one I sell herbs to? Hmm? Oh, I, I thought you were an herbalist here to sell herbs. Mm, got it. You produce twire in here then? <clears throat> we're not just interested in twire. Ash and swish, swevery and white whip are all, of course, more rare. So, more expensive. Are herbs plentiful this year? Quite. The brides must have done a great job. You mean dancing? Sometimes, when I go out into the steppe, I see dozens of them stepping around, swaying. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. We've only got two weeks until September ends. We're now in the golden time of harvest. We need to stock up for the whole year ahead. How much do you pay? It's different every day. Depends on what we're currently brewing. Some herbs may cost twice sometimes. I see. Brown twire costs twice as much today. Okay, so that means it might be wise to save up my herbs and only sell the thing that's selling for twice as much. Brown twire. Well, I have... Oh yeah, I have four of that. So this sells for 50, that sells for 50, that sells for 150. This sells for a hundred, a hundred. Okay, well there's no super urgent need for me to get tons and tons of money, so I think I will try to be wise and slowly dole it out. Yeah, alright, what do you sell? Walnuts, raisins, chestnut, pemmican, coffee, twirine. 120 for that, and they have four of them. I will gladly take that. Um, I can take two of that, actually. And I don't have any food on me, so food would be nice. Kashuk's alright. I already have some coffee beans. Yeah, I do. Hmm, yeah, I'll take a Kashuk. That's good. Same dancer on stage. They have some serious endurance. Let's eat the Kashuk. Drink some water. Hmm. My exhaustion's pretty high. I'm gonna take the coffee. Anything else I wanna do? I want to sort my inventory. <laughs> it's real bad. There. That's better. I think I want to drink it. some Twyran, yeah. The town is calling me. Hmm, that looks like the or one of these impossible structures. Or just the staircase leading up to the sky. I wasn't sure if that was the one that I'd seen before or if it's a second one. Um, mm, it is a second one. You can see it on the map. Like, this obviously is one. And then, over here, there's another one. Okay, um, hmm, where am I going next? I'm curious if there's anything in that drop box. Let's go to Sabrov. Oh, can I take a boat there? Kinda? Yeah, I suppose it would probably be faster if I take a boat from here up to here. Would it really make that big of a difference, though? Eh, kinda. Let's take a boat. Whoa, did you hear that when I used the clock? That What's with my... What's with my view? Is that the Twirine? Doing this? Holy crap. The music slowed down when I used the clock, too. Ooh. Things are funky. Uh. This shit, how do I go that way? I think it wore off now. I 
hear you, Earth. I guess this one would be fastest. Yeah. 